while everyone's been bemoaning the fact that there's been a lack of insects here's one that there's been no lack of whatsoever this is the damage of course done by the lava of the horse chestnut leaf miner each one of these blotches on this leaf represents the home for a few weeks of one lava the horse chestnut leaf miner is a small mining moth which has three broods per year so many of these mines will still be active but just look at this in between all of the veins here are several mines in some cases two in most of these this is the high infestation rates that lead to horse chestnut leaves looking like this by late July the weather's certainly not affected this species and the horse chestnut leaf miner is a marvellous little moth really you have to mine anything that's successful whether it does damage or not but it was completely unknown to science if I remember right until all of a sudden it turned up in Macedonia of all places and then a number of years later it was in England in the London area, it might have been Wimbledon if I remember right and since then it's gone mad it romped through the counties Dillis and I found this new to Nottinghamshire a number of years ago and we did a lot of mapping work on horse chestnut leaf miner that's one of the things that we always did and I still do and Nick and Samantha Brownlee do as well is that rather than just find something go and look for a second record is it to try and find out is it located just in that one area how common is it quite often the more you look for a, a newly arrived species the more you will find that it's well established and by now every conquer tree or chestnut tree if you wish in Nottinghamshire and much of the UK probably has varying degrees of this kind of damage on it very successful species helped of course by the fact that it does have three broods in most years it's very much the rabbit of the lepidoptera world you can't stop these breeding they certainly don't need viagra the males of the horse chestnut leaf miner and most chestnut trees look really quite tired and sorry for themselves now even by midsummer and it's all down to the damage done by the horse chestnut leaf miner it's a very successful moth and yet it's tiny I'll show you the damage and you can see each of these blotches are a single mine the smaller the blotch the younger the mine in fact you can see the caterpillar in that mine there but the brownish shapes are the layers and distribution of frass the larval droppings within the mine you see this leaf here is completely filled with the mines and so the tree can't photosynthesize as well as it should that may well have long-term implications on the future the horse chestnut tree in the UK how long can it withstand this amount of attack and it's an attack no one could do anything about and you can see lava in there and in there quite an incredible species when you think about it how such a tiny moth can go rampant and go through the UK and colonize the UK within a few years and now most of your horse chestnut trees look like this brown the leaves curling up drying up and dying autumn comes to horse chestnut trees now as early as July 
and that's purely down to one little moth, the horse chestnut leaf miner. One little moth can do so much damage to a tree, can it potentially wipe that tree out? We shall see in the coming years and decades. In the meantime, the horse chestnut leaf miner marches on and is increasingly ever successful.